following video and post have been sponsored by Cricut. Hi everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my studio. Today I have a Cricut iron on project to share with you. Uh, if you'd like to make a cute t-shirt similar to mine, I have all the instructions that you need. It is so much fun to make this and it is super easy. To make this, I used my Cricut Explore Air 2, some new Cricut patterned iron-on, yes, patterned, and the new Cricut Easy Press. It's really easy to make, it's fast, it's fun, and you'll be ironing on everything in your own home and your wardrobe in no time. So if you're looking, if you're looking to make some of your own iron-on, stay tuned. Cricut currently has nine brand new sampler sets of the patterned iron-on. Yes, nine, with three sheets in each set. It's just making my decision as to which one I'm going to choose for my project even harder. because They're all so beautiful. But finally, I do decide that I'm going to use this one. It is a beautiful black with white print of flowers on it. It is by Anna Griffin. It is the Charlotte Sampler. So I want to make a cat and I go into the Cricut Design Space to find some art that I would like. And you know, I lose a little bit of time because I get all these other ideas while I'm looking at all these other images. There's so many to choose from. I finally decide on this one cat image. So I choose it, uh, purchase it, and then I decide that I want to make it a certain size and only use the top layer. Following the instructions given in the Cricut Design Space, all I have to do now is let the Cricut Explorer Air 2 that I have do its job. So I'm showing you again the pattern I have chosen. And I am instructing the Cricut Design Space that I want the mirror image because uh, this is iron-on. I get a blue light grip mat, which is optimal for uh, patterned iron-on. And I will place the piece of patterned iron-on with the shiny side down onto the adhesive spit, adhesive of the mat. Sorry. Now I just let the Cricut Explorer Air 2 cut the cat. After I've unloaded the mat per the instructions on the computer, I uh, simply peel off the excess patterned iron-on. Before I use the new Cricut Easy Press, I set its temperature to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. I've preheated the 100% cotton t-shirt, five seconds. I am placing the cat onto the t-shirt. The t-shirt is already over the Easy Press mat. And then I apply the Easy Press for 30 seconds. According to the recommendations, it is best to flip the t-shirt over at this point onto the Easy Press mat and reapply the Easy Press for 
15 seconds. Now it's time to let everything cool down because the recommendations are for optimal results to do a cold peel. So it should be uh, fully cooled down. And there I am slowly removing the shiny liner. And we have our patterned iron-on kitty on the t-shirt. And now I have a brand new kitty t-shirt. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I would so appreciate a like, a thumbs up, a share. Please comment and don't forget to subscribe. Stay crafty, friends.